quite often we'll be asked to prove something about divisibility with proof by induction. The first thing we need to know is that if we're going to show that something's divisible evenly by 3, that means it's a multiple of 3. So in this case, our p sub n statement is going to be that n cubed minus n is equal to 3k when k is an integer. And of course, we have that n is a natural number. OK, so let's show that it's true for p sub 1. So we get 1 cubed minus 1, which is equal to 0, which is the same as 3 times 0. So p sub 1 is true. And if we feel a little uncomfortable because it was 0, we could also test p sub 2 just to be sure. So 2 cubed minus 2, that's equal to 6, which is 3 times 2. So p2 is also true, so it makes us feel a little bit better maybe. So now we're going to assume that p sub k is true. This implies that n cubed minus n, and maybe I shouldn't have used k here, is equal to 3m. So now I'm going to use a different variable. And I'm not using a different variable just because I don't want k either. I'm using a different variable because whatever this value is for the integer might not be this one. So I'm just going to say that m is an integer. All right, so now let's uh, show p sub k plus 1 to be true. So that implies that n plus 1, uh, not n plus 1, and not n here. This should have been k. And so k plus 1 cubed. minus k plus 1 is equal to some other multiple of p. So I somehow have to use my above statement. I have to get this somehow into here. So let's look just at the left-hand side. So k plus 1 cubed, using binomial theorem, k cubed plus 3k squared plus 3k plus 1 minus k minus 1 Let's rearrange this. I want to use this, so I'm going to put those two together. So k cubed minus k, moving that over. Now I'm going to have plus 3k squared plus 3k. Uh, plus 1 minus 1 cancels. Now I'm going to use my statement, so I'm going to replace k cubed minus k with 3m plus 3k squared plus 3k. That's equal to 3 times m plus k squared plus k. I know that this is an integer because m is an integer and k is also an integer. Therefore, it satisfies my requirement and I could let m plus k squared plus k be my p. So it's equal to the right-hand side. So now I'm going to have my statement since p sub k plus 1 is true, and p sub 1 is true, then by mathematical induction, p sub n is true for n element of natural numbers.